Hello and welcome to our presentation which is titled Achieving More Equitable and Inclusive Research and Programming in Ornithology and Conservation. This is a work put together by a group of ICBOs which are independent community-based organizations which came together for this research project. One of the first things that I started off with is the community framework and what this is is taking all of the available research is how would we structure it and then therefore be able to present findings from this. And this came out of, uh, out of this came four elements, which are power and privilege, trust and transparency, realities and relevance, and commitment and collaboration. And the challenge that we had before us was why have we not made significant advances in fostering diversity, equity, and inclusion in ornithology and conservation science? In other words, if we uh, set these out to be important um, guidelines, What's slowing us down? And so we wanted to see what might be some systematic consideration in the partnerships and relationship, especially between community-based organizations and, for, uh, for example, uh, science institutions. The method that we use was a community-based participatory research uh, that included grounded theory and critical race theory to be able to take um, a lot of the data that we acquire, especially through the interviews um, of other community-based organizations and practitioners in the field. The process was one in which the ICBOs developed the mission, the vision, and values to guide our work, and then we developed our guidelines, our rules. Uh, these were based on the Jemez principles for de democratic organizing uh, that we agreed to follow. And our rules uh, really focused on being able to look at the decision making, the motivations and benefits uh, for participation in this project, uh, and then also that led us to some of the outputs, for example, the blogs, the videos, uh, and the consideration for credit and, auth and authorship. One of the neat things was to be able to develop a community re review board of non-negotiables to guide how to do the research in collaboration with our communities. The mission, vision, and values were ones that uh, are important not just in community-based work, but we thought that we're, uh, it was significant to see what they would look like in practice in some of these research uh, considerations. So we knew that we had a vision of uh, ensuring that the sciences inclusively and equitably serve all of our communities and not just uh, research institutions, uh, to equitably inclusive transform the sciences through underserved community voices and perspectives. So we wanted this to be a demonstration of that as well. Uh, and we were going to be guided by values of trust, inclusiveness, transparency, equity, integrity, passion, commitment, and social justice. We developed working agreements which were important to ensure that we would, um, it would, they would guide us, especially through moments of decision making, uh, deliberation, and tension. Uh, we have a list of these working agreements here, uh, which continue to be work in progress for us to put them into practice. And then lastly, we had a community review board of non-negotiables. This is important just like an institutional review board, uh, which tended to protect, in many cases, the research institutions. We wanted to look at what could we have to ensure that we protected the, community, uh, the communities in, with whom we would be in partnership in. And then I'll pass it over to next. Les quiero platicar de uno de los resultados, el acceso. Cuando las instituciones le dan a las comunidades la oportunidad de tener acceso a diferentes recursos, esto genera en ellas mayor confianza. Las comunidades no quieren que las instituciones les digan cómo deben de hacer las cosas o cómo salvar a su comunidad. Lo que ellos desean es tener acceso a diferentes recursos, fuentes de financiamiento, capacitación, contactos que puedan ayudarles a realizar crear o co-crear programas que les permitan estar mejor. Estos programas que realmente vengan de cuáles son sus necesidades, de qué quieren y qué necesitan. Por eso es importante que las comunidades y las instituciones tengan un diálogo directo. Las instituciones tendrán que dar los accesos necesarios a las comunidades para lograr sus objetivos. Si queremos hablar de conservación de aves, tenemos que co-crear y tener acceso a esos recursos para tener mejores resultados. I know what you need. Do you? Community researchers indicate that science institutions want to save or fix our communities and do not think the community has the knowledge to make a meaningful contribution. I know what you need is one of the ICBO's research results that describes 
the total exclusion of the community and its members from a scientific research conducted within a community. This is a top-down approach directly and indirectly affecting and eliminating the community from the research and also denying the community from the results and benefit of the research. The stories, the memories and the history of a community is a vital information that can be used as a ground up for a research conducted within a community backed with a scientific process. We all need somebody to have our back. From kids growing up to large STEM organizations taking care of smaller organizations in the community. The building of trust and the opportunity to move things forward because somebody has your back, because you don't have to be scared that you won't have the support can mean all the difference in the world to a smaller based community organization. The opportunity for a large organization to step up and really begin to build trust and provide the opportunity to let that organization know that you have its back can do so much, not only for the people involved in the smaller organization, but for the larger organization as well. Thanks for having my back. Otro resultado que quiero compartir con ustedes es el de estar presente. Cuando una institución llega a hacer un trabajo científico con una comunidad, pasar tiempo en la comunidad va a generar un mayor entendimiento de cómo funciona esta comunidad y también va a generar un mayor compromiso con el trabajo. Eh, el hecho de hacernos presentes lo podemos, lo, lo podemos realizar de diferentes formas, puede ser a través de un voluntariado o eh, compartiendo una comida, eh, participando a lo mejor en, la, en las fiestas comunitarias, eh, estando presente en diferentes eventos que ellos tengan. O sea, que se vea realmente que hay un interés por, por seguir este como fomentando esta mejor calidad de las relaciones y no solamente que se quede en un trabajo de investigación y ya que realmente haya una preocupación por la comunidad, eh, un interés en conocerla, en conocer cómo funciona. Como miembro de la comunidad, es importante para nosotros que las instituciones se acerquen a nosotros, dialoguen con nosotros, estén presentes durante todo el proceso. Es importante que ellas conozcan de cerca cuál es el valor que tiene la comunidad, el conocimiento que tiene y de esa manera podemos co-crear juntos un proyecto importante para la comunidad y obtener mejores resultados. Penny Peaks. Our research found that community organization feel that science institution use underserved communities to obtain grants, do research, and check off inclusion and diversity requirements, involving the community only as a study but not benefiting from the data. The experience of members of a community about scientific process in an equitable diverse and inclusive collaboration with a scientific institution provide education to both communities and scientists. It also encourages trust and transparency, effective collaboration in research work that benefit both the community and scientific institution as well. Bridge the conflict. We found that in order to build trust, there needs to be commonalities found. As commonalities are found, what happens is you begin to move progress forward based on what you and your partner share. The community bridge to conflict will then allow you to address the issues that are difficult. So once again, finding commonalities, building trust, and then moving forward with the tougher issues is a possible solution to progress for you and your partners.
Voy a compartir el impacto que tiene y los beneficios que hay cuando las comunidades lideran proyectos de investigación y ciencia junto con las instituciones. Soy Marilú López Freds y junto con Karen Purcell representamos al Laboratorio de Orientología de Cornell. Aunque creemos en la objetividad, en ser neutrales e imparciales, nuestra cosmovisión institucional es diferente. Nuestra comprensión del mundo está moldeada por nuestras experiencias y nos guste o no, cuando lideramos desde nuestra perspectiva, nuestras preguntas, análisis, difusión y soluciones no serán las mejores. Nos asociamos con 15 organizaciones comunitarias diversas para co-crear un proyecto científico que tiene un beneficio práctico para las comunidades. Desarrollamos confianza entre nosotros y acordamos trabajar con transparencia. Exploramos barreras y oportunidades para formar una relación sólida y beneficiosa para ambos. Cuando la ciencia incluye a personas de comunidades diversas y subrepresentadas, estas voces aportan perspectivas para la resolución de problemas a partir de experiencias prácticas. Algunos de los beneficios que tiene este modo de colaborar son mejores decisiones. Las comunidades saben qué es lo mejor para ellas. Cuando son parte de la toma de decisiones, hay una mejor toma de decisiones. Más creatividad. No se nos hubiera ocurrido un proyecto científico que fuera bueno para todas las comunidades diversas con las que trabajamos. Hemos ganado experiencias educativas que nos enseñan en la academia. Mejor comunicación. Hemos aprendido a usar un lenguaje que no está codificado ni es académico, un lenguaje que es accesible, claro y sencillo, con el uso de las artes y el humor. Nuestro lenguaje de difusión viene de la comunidad. Hemos aprendido la competencia cultural y el compromiso de crear un proceso que permita la seguridad al trabajar juntos. Más sentido de pertenencia comunitaria de los resultados y esto genera un mayor impacto en la conservación y la ciencia. Los proyectos científicos equitativos que son liderados por la comunidad, inclusivos y co-creados por comunidad e instituciones de ciencia brindan mejores resultados a la investigación científica y un nivel de participación de más impacto. Gracias.